Hey guys, I'm Sarah and welcome to my channel and my very first video. Here I will be talking about all things money and how you can enjoy your life and accomplish your financial goals by budgeting. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you won't miss any new videos. A little bit about me, I live in Michigan with my husband Noah. We've been married for five years and have two sons under two. Their names are Logan and Jonah. This video is going to be our 2022 sinking fund and savings goals. And with that, let's dive right in. To start off, a sinking fund is something that you know is going to happen every year and you save a little bit of money every month so that when you get to that expense, you already have the money ready to go. An example of this would be Christmas. You know, Christmas comes around every December 25th, and if you save a little bit of money each month when you get to December, it hurts a little bit less. <laughs> and an emergency fund, which is something we're also going to be talking about, is something like you lose a job or something major happens and you need money right now, it is intended for emergencies only. This isn't for frivolous spending, it is for emergencies and you should not touch this money. So with that, let's get into the video. As you can see here, I have 11 sinking funds. I have them listed in alphabetical order. Um, this fund is actually, this is our emergency fund. It's in a different bank account than our sinking funds. And the way I do it, our sinking funds are actually in the same bank account. And I keep track, I have an app, um, and I also keep track on a spreadsheet to keep track of each amount in those accounts. And I do this because, let's say, let's pick a category, let's say car repairs. Um, you can see we have $845.48 in there. Well, let's say we have a car repair and it's going to be $1,000. We don't have enough. So what I would do is take money from an account that doesn't need that money right now. Like let's say the medical fund. We aren't using that money right now. I could potentially borrow money from that fund to cover the cost of the car repair. So that is why I keep everything in the same account. Now I don't like to be negative in any account, but if it does have to happen, um, then the next month I can just replenish the other account. So to start off, I have listed all the starting balances. Now we have already put in um, the budgeted amounts into these accounts for December. So at the end of the year, as long as everything goes to plan and we don't have to spend from any of these categories, these will be the amounts that are left at the very end of the year. And so now I'm going to go in and plug in our goal amounts for 2022. For our car insurance, our goal is $1,980. And that means we have $1,020.79 to save. And this section here gives me the monthly amount. So this is how much I need to save a month for car insurance. It is $85.07. We pay our car insurance every six months in January and July. I do this because we actually end up saving a little bit of money versus paying every month. Our second category is the car repairs. And our goal amount for car repairs is $1,800. And that would leave us with a monthly amount of $79.54. Um, it is a little bit high. We do have our car as a 2013 Dodge Avenger. So it's a little bit older and it's, it's getting up there in miles. And we also just bought this year a 2019 Dodge Caravan. And it does need new tires probably in the spring. So we know we're going to have some expenses there. Christmas is starting at zero because we have spent all of our Christmas fund. We actually had a fund of $600 for Christmas this year, and we actually already sp we only spent $550, which um, I'm pretty proud of. Um, so we actually took the extra $50, and we ended up putting it towards car insurance since car insurance is due in January. We wanted to make sure we had enough money 
in there to cover that. So our goal for Christmas for the next year is actually going to be $1,000. And so that is a monthly amount of $83.33. Then we have all of our clothing fund. This one, this first one is for my son, Jonah. And his goal amount is going to be $200. He doesn't need very many clothes, and he also gets the hand-me-downs from my son, Logan. So we need to save $8.54 a month for him. Next, we have clothing for my son, Logan, and he gets $250. So we need to save $14.09 a month for him. Next is clothing for my husband, Noah, and he gets... $300. Notice he's starting at $18.64. Um, he had to get some work boots and some new jeans and things. Um, and he also gets a little bit higher of an amount because he, you know, his things cost more. I know he needs a new work coat. So anyways, his monthly amount is $23.45. My clothing budget, I get $350. I had two babies pretty much back to back and I need a new wardrobe so my monthly amount is $23.33 and then we have home maintenance notice there's only $175.87 in here I do not like that if you are a homeowner you know that things are expensive if your roof has a leak if you know leaky faucet you know the water heater goes the furnace things cost a lot of money and only having $175 it's kind of scary so our goal amount for home maintenance is $2,500 and it will just give me such peace of mind to have that money there for if we need it. And so our monthly amount for home maintenance is $193.68. Next we have the medical fund and our goal for medical is $600. We have $110 in there and our monthly amount is going to be $40.83. Next up, we have pictures, and our goal is going to be 275. We have never had professional pictures taken as a family yet, and that is something that we are wanting to do this coming year. And so, $7.42 a month for that. And our last sinking fund is vacation, and we are wanting to do a couple things, maybe go out west. This coming year in August is going to be our six year anniversary and we're wanting to do something a little bit bigger. So $4,000 and that will be $285.70 a month. And then in our emergency fund, which is in a completely different bank than these accounts or this account, our goal is going to be $7,000. Um, we only have $688. 15 in there and if you follow Dave Ramsey he recommends $1,000 in your emergency fund to start out and so having less than that is kind of scary um, the reason this is so low is we actually bought a van in April it was um, a little over $22,000 um, we have it down to less than $10,000 and it will be paid off in April but that is why our savings is so low as we have been attacking the van as much as possible. So our monthly amount for our emergency fund is going to be $525.99. And our total, if you add up everything, our total to put to savings every single month is going to be $1,368.27, which I feel like is very doable, especially when we pay off the van. So for me, you can expect two new videos on my channel every week, every Wednesday and Friday. And that is the end of this video, guys. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.